spermatogenesis? I'm thinking there is. Yeah, that would be uh, FSH. No. Yeah, that's right. So just remember for male, FSH targets the seminiferous tubule in the testes to begin meiosis. So FSH. A male will not generate sperm until the FSH level reaches its appropriate level. So young boys, toddlers, they don't have sperm production. It's not happening. So when you're dealing with meiosis, all right, the goal is to have a diploid cell become a haploid cell. Now, when they say diploid, what does that mean? 46 chromosomes. When they say haploid, what does that mean? 23 chromosomes. Diploid, haploid. So we're going to take this original cell. That's 46 chromosomes. In it. We're going to watch it line up the chromosomes like this. Now here's the trick. This is called M1. What's that stand for? Metaphase 1. You're going to have two columns of 23 chromosomes. So, how many in this column? 23. And how many in this column? 23. So, that's a total of 46. Now, when they're side by side, one column will be the father's column. The other column will be the mother's. When they are side by side, they will overlap. And the father's genetics and the mother's genetics will blend during this step. What do we call that blending? Cross bridging. Okay, so this is where we have the cross bridging. Cross bridging for genetic variability. And we spoke on this before in class. We said, okay, the idea is to take the genes from the mother and the father and blend them. That way, we don't get somebody's bloodline locked into the same mistakes over and over. Like, I would never want my problems to be locked in forever for all of my children down to the years, right? I mean, who wants their boys to be running on this? Forever. Well, that's that's because it crosses over right here. <laughs> that didn't happen. Poor kids. Huh? Tell us some else. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Teddy. Oh yeah. Kojak. Kojak. Yeah. Kojak. <laughs> now, when that cell splits, we're going to have 23. 
Because it runs to drug she, she just needs nice cold air. I do. To get her <laughs> back together. You're going to take that 23 chromosome cell, and now, guess what? You line them up again. So I'm going to line them up. What's in the middle now? 23 chromosomes. Now that's a single column this time. And a single column. All right. Now we're going to pull the chromosomes apart. And when we do that, the chromosome will be pulled into chroma tids. So we're going to pull them apart. And then each cell that we see will have 23 chromatids in each cell. Okay. So this is spermatogenesis now. This is the beginning cell. Is it diploid or haploid? Diploid. Okay, now they have a name for this one. They call it spermatogonia. Okay. And when we get down here to the end, these are haploid cells that we call spermatids. These aren't sperm yet, they're baby sperm. What do they got to do? Grow up. Grow up. We need to go through the hip. Oh. We gotta go through the hip and They be trained. Make you a lean, mean fertilizing machine. Fertilizing machine. <laughs> you gotta spin that to the jelly. That's right. <laughs> you gotta learn how to jog for miles. <laughs> Seek and destroy. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Always remember to wear a hat. Don't lose your enzyme cat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can see him in line. You're sitting there, walk up, you're like, shh. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, soldier. <laughs> well, yeah, oh, oh my. my. <laughs> Getting late, everybody's laughing. Silliness. We're always laughing. No, no.